Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Hi, my name is Kay. Today I am going to be cash stuffing my side income money, yay! So these are the two gigs that I did at the beginning of February. If you are new here, I have a um, side gig of house sitting and pet sitting, and this is the money that I use to sink into my long and short term binders, and I'm hoping to have a little left over to play some Food Truck Friday challenges. So I'm super excited to get stuffing this money, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Oh guys, I feel like I have been waiting to stuff this money forever. I have where it's all going to go into my wonderful notebook here and so let's go ahead and count this money let's see what we have today let me get my calculator out so i don't make any mistakes all right so we have 100 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 400 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is $495 going into my sinking funds. So let's go ahead and get started in my long-term binder. I want to uh, jump into car insurance. I need to condense this a little bit and split up this hundred. So car insurance right now has 1,096 in it, but we are gonna stuff um, $50 today. So I'm going to put this 100 in and take out 50. There you go. And so now it has 1,000 in the bank, 120, 45, 46. So $1,146. I did get to uh, renew my car and homeowner's insurance. So I have an IOU in here. I found a great deal with Geico and I hope to be getting some money back from Allstate. Allstate just rate, keep raising their rates on me and I just couldn't afford to keep them. Even though I really did like having Allstate insurance, it was just getting too expensive. Okay, so for expenses, we're going to go ahead and sink $50 in here today. And so now, Let's see, let me organize this. So now expenses has 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 dollars. So 590, and this goes to um, adding product to a new side hustle that I'm trying to work through, and that is Amazon. And it is tough, man. Amazon's not an easy place to create a small business. So I am applauding all those people who are successfully managing a small business on Amazon. That is just not an easy task. Um, they have been pulling our product for different testing, and it's just been a mess. Cart care is not getting anything today. Let me go to home care now. It's gonna get 40. I still have not purchased anything for the home office. I've just been so busy and it's like hard to let go of this money. I don't know if y'all feel the same way, but it's like, I wanna see my sinking funds build and so it's hard for me now to spend the money. So I'm becoming almost a chronic saver now. <laughs> so I feel like I can do without quite a bit, but you know, there are just some things that we need to spend our money on. And even though it might not be a necessity, it would make life easier. And that's kind of for me, what this home office furniture would be for me. It's just so hard to let go of this money. So anyway, home care now has 300 in the bank, 20, 40, 50, $54, so $354. I wonder if you guys feel the same way sometimes. All right. Um, vacay, yay. So this cute little tracker is from Jen over at Teach Save Travel. I love Jen's channel. She's a history teacher here in Texas. And we are going to put $30 in today, which means I'm going to need to start a new tracker. So let me go grab that real quick. Okay, I'm back. And so 
The first thing that I did was look up Skiathos Greece and Skiathos, I hope I'm saying it right. Jen, you'll have to uh, go down in the comments and let me know, but it looks like it is just a small little town um, in Greece um, and they've got beautiful little um, village towns on the water. And of course, Greece is gonna have the most amazing blue water. So I'm trying to plan a trip to Greece in the near future, not sure when it's gonna happen, but I would really like to plan for something in 2025. So I haven't even looked at cruise lines, so I need to start doing my research. So right now all I'm doing is just saving money and learning about the history of Greece and all its different islands. Um, so we are gonna put $30 in today. So it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then we do one more on the new tracker. Jen has um, amazing travel um, destination trackers and she'll even custom make anything for you if you're wanting to go somewhere and save for something. So definitely hit up her channel and check out her Etsy. I'll have that information in my descriptions. All right, so let's go ahead and put 30 into vacation. And it looks like we have 1,000 in the bank, 50, 70, 90, 105. Awesome. So five, saving $5 at a time, that's what we're doing. So there is vacation. Next up is Christmas, I believe. I wanna put $25 in here today. And I'm not starting any trackers yet. I just wanna try and save $300. So 20 and a five. So now we have 100 in the bank, 20, 40, 65. 165. Have you guys started saving for Christmas yet? I swear it'll sneak up before you know it. Next up is anniversary. Anniversary is also gonna get 25. And we are going to check off, this cute tracker is from Allison over at Authentically Allison. And we're gonna do a chocolate box, a heart-shaped chocolate box, which is worth 25. So now anniversary has 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 95, $95. Wonderful. I think my goal in anniversary is a thousand dollars. So, and this guy keeps coming off, so I'm gonna have to just leave that off. Next is laptop. This is definitely a long-term savings. I have no real um, date goal set in mind. So we are just going to today. We're gonna stuff forty because I think that will make it an even one hundred the next 100, so I will be able to color in one more laptop. And this cute tracker is from Jerry over at One Frugal Introvert. Okay, so now we have, um, we should have $1,300. So $1,000, 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3. Perfect. The goal here is a $3,000 goal because I wanna get something really, really nice once my current um, MacBook becomes obsolete because I'm getting to be about an eight-year-old machine and you know, Apple tends to have a good shelf life. I think their computers last a good 10 years before the operating systems become obsolete. So we're just getting a head start on that savings. All right, now we're heading into my short terms binder. Schmoopy is gonna get $60 today. I do have several IOUs in here because we have been going out, but I will do a cash unstuffing. 20, 40, 60. I'll do a cash unstuffing in a different video. So we'll do 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 93 so far in Schmoopy. All right, next up is Memberships, this is my extra grocery envelope, and this is just gonna get $20 today to help beef it up. So now it has 25, six, seven, $27. 
Okay, and Hair and Beauty is actually gonna get quite a bit. It's gonna get $70 today. So 20, 40, 60, 70. So we now have 75, 76, 7, 78 now in hair and beauty okay wellness is going to get five dollars this is going to complete what i had budgeted in this category for this month so wellness now has 20 40 60 81 20 30 40 50 65 75 85 95 200 5 6 7 so 207 That's right, 207. Clothing is gonna get a bump. It's gonna get $30 today. So this is the last 20. So we have 20, 45, 50 dollars now in clothing. All right, and we're gonna put $10 into gifts. I'm gonna just try and touch gifts a little all over, every now and then to get it beefed up, and now it has 20. I think the next um, thing that I have is my birthday. I think April, I don't really have anything going on in March. So that's the next thing we'll be saving for. All right, and that is it for my long and short term binders. So I wanna use the rest of this in my Food Truck Friday Savings Challenge. I wanna go ahead and see what we can play today and get a little closer to completing these two challenges I'm working on. So we have a roll and dice sushi game, and I have an IOU here for my scratch off Chinese food truck. So let me go ahead and take care of this IOU, which is $1. All right, and I'm not counting this money, I'm just saving it. It's going towards my $10,000 savings goal for 2024. So let me grab my marker and my scratcher, and we should have $40 here, so let's double check. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, well, we have 39 because we put 1 in there. Okay, so 39 we have to play with. So let me go ahead and scratch. Let me roll a dice to see. All right, we're gonna actually, oh, and y'all, I have been slaying this month, so I picked this little avocado sticker out for today. So I thought that was funny, but I have been just slaying it, guys. Just working really hard and feeling really confident um, at work and also with the side hustle. So, all right, let's roll and see which one we're gonna scratch. Number three, so one, two, three. And we have, Ooh, a bowl of Chinese food. So let's put in $2. All right, and let's roll for sushi now. We have three spots left, $6. Oh, you know what? I don't wanna use this one. I wanna use the bigger number. Oops, sorry about that. So I wanna use the 12-sided dice because I wanna get bigger numbers. Let's see. If six ends up being higher than what gets rolled, I'm gonna put the six down. Three, okay, so let's go ahead and just put the six down. Okay, so five, six, all right, and let's roll this dice for the next scratcher, four. So one, two, three, four, and it is a fortune cookie. So my fortune cookies are $5, so let's get that in here. All right, next up is sushi again. Ooh, $11. Love it. Love it. I love high numbers for this because my I'm, I'm just determined to save $10,000 and I just feel so motivated to reach that goal. So good high numbers are good numbers. All right, so next up is Scratcher 6. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And another bowl of noodles. So let's put in two. 
And this is the last roll on the roll the dice sushi challenge. And that is an eight. Love it. Love it. So five, six, seven, eight. All right, we are done with sushi. So next up is the scratcher. Let's see which one we're gonna scratch. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I got another fortune cookie. So that's my last $5, you guys. Ah, no IOUs. That is awesome. Love it. Okay, so two more scratchers left on my challenge. So we will tackle that maybe on my next Food Truck Friday. So that'll be my last paycheck of February. So I will plan on scratching those two off. And we are done, you guys. That is all that I have. I'm not counting this money. We are just going to save it, put it away, and oops. I may condense this off camera. I am such a butterfingers lately. My money is flying all over the place. All right. I might condense this off camera just to get these singles and fives back, but that is all that I have. But yeah, I am just in love with my side income money. I love what I do as a side income. I don't really make enough in my weekly paychecks to cover all of the expenses that I have. So I'm so grateful for this money. Um, and you guys, I think that's really all I have. I thank you for so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you tomorrow for Mini Mondays. Yay! All right, take care. See you next time.